There's a lot of spiritual approaches that aim towards being that unitive field of being. And there's a lot of uh, psychological approaches that aim to really kind of clarify your unique embodiment. But we really emphasize both of those dimensions, that it's our reality is that we're always sort of simultaneously living both of those realities. And in some ways, it, as long as we're in a human body, that simultaneity is an inescapable. Essentially, the core paradox is the tension of being human and divine. I think of it almost like two fault lines coming together, right? It's the tension that we all experience unconsciously of our human nature and our divine nature. And so what we do as human beings, in order to make sense of this, we'll either personalize it or we'll generalize it. So these, these feelings of insufficiency, it's never enough. I'm never doing enough. I'm insufficient. I'm worthless, right? I'm separate, so I'm always trying to find some way to connect or feel complete or feel resolved or something like that. It's almost like it show up over and over, over again in different ways or different forms. I discovered that all this distress that I felt at the very root of it was a primal distress that could not be resolved no matter how much therapy or how refined or special or nuanced it was. And I also realized that I was simultaneously the greater field that holds everything, including my suffering. Ultimately, that's what owning the core paradox allows is a little more of the dropping in and there comes a place where it actually opens and shifts into what we call the core condition where it's it's lived so we don't fight it or try to get rid of it or try to change it we're just living it and that's an even deeper level of just being more and more embodied in truly awakening embodiment is both and. It's magical and messy. It's heartwarming and heartbreaking, delightful and disappointing, grace and grief, exquisite and excruciating, often at the exact same moment. In other words, it's life. Coming to terms with that paradox of simultaneity is in many ways a doorway to what we call whole being realization. Whole being realization is having stable access to feeling and being abiding in that paradox of being both the unmanifest transcendental aspect of divine being and being the material aspect, being human, just being uh, embodied. And both are married together right now. Usually we'll think we're one or the other or try to be one or the other. And um, they are married together, fused together in a continuum or another way of saying it, a simultaneity. Ultimately, whole being realization is an act of relaxation. When enough resistance and constriction has been softened, there's sort of a natural opening into the whole field. After realization, this further deepens. You say the all-inclusive, seamless unity, it deepens. And more of our divinity side comes infusing into the human side, and then we can recognize our divinity of 
the divinity of everything and the divinity of everyone. This state, this um, peace that passes understanding is now the platform from which you are ready to take the next step into the wider dimension of your awakening. And that occurs when you recognize that not only is your particular identity infinite and eternal as consciousness, but that the whole world of the flux of phenomena of experience is of the same essence. And when that happens, a new and sometimes astonishing kinship with all things starts to take root. And everywhere your eye falls and lands on something that feels close and dear. And this is the real prize of embodied awakening. <laughs>